Today I'm going to be reacting to Alan Becker's Animation vs Coding. Now as a side note for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Ellie, I am a Cambridge Mathematics graduate and I spent two years in the space industry working as an astrodynamics software engineer and now I work in the tech and AI industry. So I've been coding for the last few years and I absolutely love coding. I do have a separate YouTube channel actually which is called Code of the Future, where I used to kind of post coding videos. So yeah, I absolutely love coding and I'm excited to see what Alan Becker has done with this animation. So without further ado, let's dive into it and I will do a little bit of commentary as we watch. So yeah, let's go. Okay, we've got a, a blinking... Okay, oh, we've got yellow. Oh, this is crazy. I'm so used to when I do these reaction videos, I've done the maths, physics and geometry one. I'm so used to it being orange. So we have yellow, okay. And we have a laptop with a MacBook logo. Is the, is the Apple normally that way or is it the other way? I love that. Anyway, so we have, a, we have a laptop, of course. We would expect there to be a laptop. Oh, it's... Is it gonna say hello world? <laughs> oh no, whoa, 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 okay. I'm gonna just automatically apologize because Alan Becker's videos, have, things happen so fast and I have to pause, reflect and explain because the idea behind these reaction videos is I am trying to like justify why things are the way they are and explain them. So uh, name error, I'm assuming this is because Yellow's literally just put hello and hasn't put like print hello in strings. I don't know what programming language we're in. Oh, okay. I mean, name error. I really hope he's put hello world somewhere, but yeah, okay, we've got the print. Okay. Nothing's being printed because obviously there's nothing inside the print. <laughs> oh, he missed, he missed. Oh, okay, okay, that's great, okay. So the computer is printing out high, fantastic. Oh, I feel like Alan's missed a trick with the hello world. Oh, he should have done hello world. Okay. So high is continually being printed from, oh no, three highs. <laughs> I just, I love how in, in any of these videos I've done when I've reacted, there's always some element of, of the stick person being throttled with something, or like something's hurling towards them. Um, and I love this touch on this one. Okay, so we've we've covered print hello, which is just a string. So I assume this, we're in Python. It feels like we're doing Python. This is actually quite a good, <laughs> I feel like it's already quite a good introduction to Python for people who haven't coded in Python before. Um, but now he's saying, okay, well we have a equals one, so let's print, this is just gonna print one. And it does so, it hits him in the head, love that. That'll print two, nine. Nice. <laughs> I love that, I love how he's just cycled through all of the kind of uh, typical operations that you do when you first learn Python. So there's add, minus, subtract, uh, minus and subtract are the same. Add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. I already I already know what's gonna happen. Let me just see if it does. So B, stringing, cool. String, string. Yeah, I knew that, I knew that was gonna happen. This is like one of the first things that you learn when, when coding is if you have different types. So for A here, we have three plus two. Obviously both three and two are integers. When you add them together, you're adding an integer and an integer. So A would be five here. So when you print that, that's absolutely fine because it's printing out an integer. When we did um, B, which is a string, so quotation marks, we have a string. When um, yellow added ing on the end, that was also a string. Or when you add string plus string, your type is still a string. This is so confusing because he's put string in a string. Um, but now when you're trying to add an integer and a string, quotation marks, um, you can't do that in Python. So there's a type error there because the two types don't match. And so that's why the computer's just gone crazy. So now what he has to do is wrap the number in a string. So then it would be a string of five. Yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Okay, I love this. And now we're counting the length. Uh, so how many uh, characters were in that? So string itself has six characters and then five is one, so seven. Nice. 
This is a great introduction to, to Python for beginners. I love it. Okay, well, right. Now what he has done is he's trying to index the string. And because you, you can't, this is just like a, a, yeah, like it says, a syntax error in Python. So you'd have to put a and then the brackets and then zero or two kind of however many elements there are in that. So yeah, he needs to put like zero and that will give him S back. So yeah, nice. There we go. Okay. Oh, the music is, okay. The music is starting now. So this, we're at the height, just multiple things are just going to get thrown. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have a for loop. I'm just going to rewind it slightly. Here we have a for loop, which is like classic. You, that's kind of the next thing that you learn. I love the, the iterative learning of this. Like if you had never touched programming before, it's kind of nice and intuitive here, but don't know if you can see it, but we have the for i in a. A here is string. So it's basically going to go through each of the characters in the string and print it. So that's why the letters of string get hurled towards him, which is great. And there we go. I, I, I love Alan Becker's videos so much. He's so creative. <laughs> okay, I was not I was not expecting there to be a laptop that's barking. I just was not expecting that. Um, again, this is another aspect in coding where if you have a while statement, so it's basically saying while true, so while ever this is true, you know, some sort of condition, then print A, which is bark here. Now, while true here, there's there's nothing within the while that says that it will ever not be true. So it's just going to continually print uh, bark. So it's just going to be a laptop that's continually barking. I love this. This is great. Oh, and now it's aggressively barking because the dot upper here is in, has made the bark string all uppercase. This is actually great. I love the soundtrack as well. I'm hoping you can pick up on it. <laughs> Okay, nice. So the reason why that just had a little, it just went a bit, I'll just rewind it, but the reason why that threw like an error then is because when you have while loops and you have the colon, you need to make sure that anything beyond that is indented. So the print here won't work because it's not indented. So that's why it throws a kind of error. So there's an error here, then it, yeah, it says indentation error as we see, and then you indent it and it works. So this is saying while A is a digit, print a dot upper okay oh no <laughs> i was gonna say because it's not oh no oh dear this i just imagine this is going to get even worse it's going way too fast okay hang on whoa <laughs> i love this bomb No, okay, 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 okay. So it's, oh my goodness me. Right, so bomb itself is now a list of different strings and then we're unpacking the list so that when it gets sent, we just have the bang, boom, bam, pow, poof, pa. <laughs> oh, I love this, okay. Oh no, we've got turtle, okay. Oh my gosh, I really hope I'm not screaming down my microphone. I feel like I might be. Turtle, this is honestly such a classic. This is great for beginners as well. As you can see, there's a turtle. If you don't know in Python, there is a package called turtle and you can draw really cool like little games and um, kind of visuals and diagrams. And, and yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And when you're doing it, a little turtle is drawing it. So this is what we see here. So forward, left, forward. It's kind of like if you ever had those, I've completely forgotten what they're called in school when you can press and it would move, you know, in, in primary school and it would move so many, you'd give it commands. I've, I've forgotten what they're called now, but yeah, you can do it in Python. So you, it's telling it to move and then turn left and obviously it's just shot up. And now he's increasing the speed of turtle. <sighs> this feels very much like the animation versus geometry with all of the kind of angles and such. So now turtle, oh no. Well, true, we have another while. So it's basically just going to continue forever and it's done that particular. Oh no, now he's he's created a gun to slow yellow down. No, he's, incre he's making it faster and increasing the size. Oh, yellow, you need to run. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. 
turtle's gone. Bye bye turtle. He's still using the gun to try and slow yellow down. I don't know why this laptop is so aggressive. Yes, we have Matplotlib. I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay. Matplotlib, sorry. I'm, again, I'm just, just in awe watching this, but Matplotlib, if you haven't used Python before, it's a fantastic plotting library. Um, yeah, you, you, you can plot, like you say, bar charts here or kind of anything really for data visualization and it's a, it's a fantastic library. So yeah, I'm glad it's come in here. And he's still throwing values and numbers. Oh, not another while true. Oh, it's randomizing the grid. I love that. Okay. So the bar charts themselves. Oh, whoa. Slow, slow down. Previously, the bar charts were being randomized. So that's why it was moving. And that's a while true. So it was going to continue to be doing it. And now we see this, which is an error bar. So we're probably going to see that in the code as well. Yeah, error bar. And he's still getting thrown values at yellow, uh, yellow, red even. Honestly, everything's happening so fast that I try, like things, words come out of my mouth to try and explain what's happening and then I just say the wrong things. But yeah, he just drew another line here, which stopped him. So another pl map plot lib, just drawing a simple line. <laughs> He's drawn a title, great. This is, this is fantastic, honestly. Alan Becker, this is fantastic. Whoa, we have, now we're on to functions. I don't, I might, well, maybe we were on functions before, but this is the first one I've seen. We have a function called fire. So I imagine this is gonna be firing things at yellow. Let's see. Oh, I love that. It's the classic tree. That was a classic one at Christmas. And now we've plotted cos in matplotlib. And we're firing more of these stars at yellow. I love this. Yes, okay, now we're on to Pygame, which is another package in Python. And this is kind of, as you guessed it, it's a Python gaming package. So I think yellow is gonna be stuck in a game somehow. Yep. Is this gonna be like snake? Whoa, so much code. So there's a key up and key down there, which is defined, so he's basically He's just going to use the left, left, right, up and down keys to, yeah, try and kill yellow with this. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is so creative, I love it. I actually love Alan Becker's videos. I, I, I was planning on filming YouTube videos this weekend and then yesterday Alan Becker got this out and I was like, yes, I'm, I'm literally, I, was, I wanted to watch it straight away, but I was like, I'm going to save it until I record tomorrow. So yeah, I absolutely love Alan Becker's videos. So now a circle's been added by the looks of things. Let's have a look, what's happened with this? <laughs> so now yellow has to fight to avoid two different objects. I was gonna say, can he get to the cross or not? Maybe not. Is he trapped in the game? So now we're cycling through the code again. <laughs> so now it's getting fired at. I love this. ASCII letters, I love that. I love that addition there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was waiting for it to kind of try fire at the cross. A nuke. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, the laptop. I am speechless. The laptop, is that, is that the end? That can't be the end. No, I was going to say that definitely can't be the end. Okay, so now we're in a, a pool of... Is it just numbers? I think it's, or is the letters? No, I think it's just numbers. Which would make sense, I guess. Oh no, the laptop's dead. <gasps> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh. 
how is he going to restore? Oh my gosh, it's, oh my gosh, it's my line of work, it's machine learning, yes. I didn't think, to be fair, like I know coding has such a high, I'm sorry, I know coding obviously is like huge for machine learning, like obviously, um, but I didn't, I just, yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I think it's machine learning anyway, I saw tensors and embedding, yes. Oh my goodness me, oh wow, sorry, yes, yes, oh okay, right, I need to just watch, but I love this. Oh, I need to, I'm going to have to look. I need to pause and look. Oh, this is beautiful. Not me just nerding out again. <laughs> the path is assorted nuke numbers. I love that. We have data sets, training, memory, short term memory. We've got embeddings. I'm um, tokenizers. Love that. So I think he's training a new, a new laptop. I love the music as well. Epoch, yep, so training epochs. The, hang on, epoch for epoch in range epochs and then it's basically minimizing the loss. Do we have, um, what optimizer are they using? Where have they defined optimizer? Did I just miss that? No, I wanted to find where optimizer has been defined. Oh, they're using, okay, so interesting. So criteria on they're using cross entropy loss and optimizing they're using the Atom optimizer. I love that. Sorry, none of this, I'm not really explaining any of this, but I just, I'm kind of like, this is cool. I love how, how like a lot of the stuff that I do in my work I'm seeing here as well. So he is training a new model and I'm assuming this is gonna be predicted next word. Oh predicting oh my god he's basically just creating like a chatbot type thing that you can chat to oh oh stop it is that the end oh i love that okay that was such a beautiful ending i also did not see that coming at all i feel like i say that at the end of every alan becker videos i'm just like that's beautiful, didn't see it coming, um, but yeah, it's fantastic. I, I mean, there's, it still says there's a minute left. Okay, never mind. the last minute was a sponsorship instead. Sad, because I was hoping there'd be like something kind of follow on from, from that. But yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. I love that. I, I always love reacting to Alan Becker's videos. And if you do want a video of me explaining more of the machine learning side of things, I'm more than happy to go into that. I'd love to maybe create some series on my coding channel or even on this channel and discuss the maths and, and how you would do that because yeah I uh, I love machine learning and I love all that area and, and, and all the stuff that goes into that so but anyway th that was fantastic I absolutely loved it um, if you have any more kind of reaction videos that you want me to do or see on this channel then let me know in the comments but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one